deadly clashes in the heart of Kyiv this week have put Ukraine back into the headlines around the world. The protests by ultra-nationalists came after MPs supported a new draft bill which could see greater autonomy granted to regions controlled by Russian-backed militants. But these areas not under government control have already achieved a greater autonomy than what is promised in the draft law. This is what Andrew Kramer writes for the New York Times. Kramer writes that analysts believe this could be a positive development and that the first step to ending the fighting. But then he goes on to say that the new law could also destabilize the Ukrainian government. Ensconced in their enclaves, the separatists are showing little willingness to rejoin Ukraine in any way. They have formed their own ministries and armies, and they have begun levying taxes and paying the pensions and public wages that Kiev stopped paying last year. But at the same time, with the recently agreed ceasefire, Kramer says that the draft law could reflect a broader bargain that serves Mr. Putin's interests. Analysts say obtaining an autonomy measure that meets his demands in the ceasefire agreement will simply cement the facts on the ground and provide him with a politically defensible way to extricate himself from a costly conflict that he can no longer afford. It's still unclear if the draft law will pass a second and maybe even third reading in the parliament. Kramer quotes Oksana Syraid, a deputy speaker of the Ukrainian parliament who's also against the law, saying that, what do we have in Donetsk and Luhansk? We have the Russian army, Russian gangsters and Ukrainian terrorists. If we enact this law, what will we have? These people will be amnestied, they will be elected and we will have to pay them. But it seems that one of the biggest arguments used by opponents of the law is that if Russian President Vladimir Putin gets his way in the Donbass, he will escalate the situation on the ground again in order to achieve more of his goals. This is Tamara Roosevelt in Kiev for Ukraine Today.